Okay, round two. We're going to do the second stage this time, since we've already done the first stage. And the first thing we do is take off the hose. Since they move, they are pain. And getting back to it, a little bit of corrosion. Welcome to not cleaning up your stuff. Okay. Now, underneath on the Max, too little. Torque screws. falls right off which is rather clean because they probably actually wrenched that okay now for Jacob the regulator I sent you you're gonna need a new cover all Maximus has come apart this way you slide in here oh, there you go and you can take this whole assembly off And that's icky, but that's how you can change your cover. You don't have to disassemble this whole assembly. So we got that off. Diaphragm. Hold it up to the light, push on it, and you look for holes. And no pinholes. This looks brand new. And you look for tears. The exhaust valve. That's in good shape. Okay. This, first thing we do is we take this lever on the other side, little clip, cleaning. Adjustment lever, give it a little wiggle, comes right out. This whole assembly. If you take from this side, push and wiggle, it should come loose. Just like that. Give it a little turn, comes out. And yep, we're going to fresh tire that apart. That's right. Be careful with these screws because you can strip them. Okay, your two fins. You have heat retention and a moisture retention. Do you know the dimple goes in between the two? Okay, that can go in there and get clean. Torques to the center. Best thing to just push down on this. And it's supposed to fit in. This has never been torn apart because this has never had the Loctite broken loose off of it. Now you put your finger on the back of this. It goes inside here. There's your bolt. There's your lever. On the back of that is your seat. And you put your finger on the back, it holds them grooves into them slots. That goes in there. Now, this side is a Phillips screwdriver. And 
and you just wiggle and she will come apart. That, that can go in there too. Now, that. We gotta bust the nut loose. Okay. That nut comes off. An ultrasonic cleaner. Push down on the center. There's your swivel barrel. Okay, now this. There's another little clip. There's the clip. Now this you can take generally. Start spinning it, turning it in. She'll get so far to where she's flush, a little push, and she comes apart. Let me go in, and that's it. Turn on the ultrasonic cleaner and wait for quite a while. Okay, now that we've got a bunch of parts that are cleaned, we're going to reassemble them, if we can remember how. So, uh, first things first, let's do the barrel. Barrel. Touch a little bit of grease, or silicone lube. And just bring it between your fingers. There's two size O-rings which go on the barrel. Okay, low pressure seat, pull it out. This side has a little ring on it, so check the air side. Don't need a new seat because it's never been changed. So you just flip it over and you got a nice seat. So we're gonna set that off to the side. So let's continue assembling this. This here, a little bit of lube on it. After you change some O-rings. And you probably don't need as much as I'm putting on here. Okay, there's your seat. Drops down in. Push it through. You see, you get that. You should be able to turn it. Mostly with your fingers. Take this, you need to spin it all the way out. clip that's got to go back on there. And you need that's that. Then we take this and it goes on that direction because we lubed it. It spins real nice and easy. Nut. I gotta put this in the cleaner. A little snug. It doesn't have to be torqued. That is that assembled. This little thingy here. Okay, sorry about that. Something beeped in on my phone. That should be shut off the way and won't do it now. Remember, the low pressure seat. One side's gonna have a ring cut in it from 
the seat and here's the no way so we're gonna get it back and go down next this way then okay whatever goes in Thank you. 
Before I test it, turn the lever, make sure it turns the fins. Not sure exactly how that helps in there, but they're supposed to hit the fins, bring them over, keep everything tighter and in. Make sure that's seated in there nice. Cap on. You don't really have to torque this, but air it up, no leaks. And she's breathing like she's supposed to. That's all there is to it. So keep your equipment dry, clean after you're done using it. Make sure it's all washed out so just take care of your stuff and enjoy that one